Wood, for God's sake. And then you go down, and it gets even worse. I recently have been moving all of the stuff that was on my Jody Bruchon Politics channel over to my regular Jody Bruchon channel so that I can make that channel defunct. Actually, as of this recording, it is defunct. All of the stuff has been moved over and published. But I republished my EV video, the one about how EVs cannot have a charge for long enough to really matter and they take forever to charge, and the ultimate problem is that the energy density of the battery is just too low. I have had two commenters within a couple of hours of posting come up and say, hey, your, your whole argument seems to be that EVs, like battery technology, just isn't good enough? Uh, are you denying all of the technological improvements over the past few years? Are you saying that, that battery technology just won't catch up? Blah, 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 blah. It's all about the batteries, man. EVs are super heavy, so they wear on the road. They take more energy to move forward because batteries just don't hold as much as combustibles. So one of the things that people need to refute if they want to refute my video, if they want to actually have a discussion about this, is the notion that lithium-ion batteries, or just batteries in general for electric vehicles, will be able to store enough energy to compete with fossil fuels to compete with compete with combustibles. So the ultimate killer of this, and, and I didn't even look up the figures, I just knew that it was, um, that lithium batteries did hold a very poor amount of energy relative to combustibles. I didn't realize how bad it actually was. So if you are someone who is willing to give the false notion that battery technology will magically catch up to combustibles a chance. I want you to see what it is that you are expecting everybody else who makes this argument to simply accept that the gap will somehow magically be closed. You, you need to see the difference. You need to see how big of a jump it is because if we're talking about like a 10% improvement year over year, for example. We go from 100%, you know, whatever it is in a particular year, to 110, but then 10% of that's 11, so 121, and then 10% of that is 12.1, so 132.1. You get the idea. Even with exponential gain, even if you have, let's say you had an amazing boost in battery technology and you had a 10 times gain, um, you'd be better off powering your car by wood because wood has more than three times as much energy. I'm going to show you this, and I've been holding off on it for this because you needed to understand the context, but this chart kind of destroys the whole EV. Um, it, it kills the narrative in one shot. This is chemical energy content of some fuels in megajoules, per kilogram. So energy per weight of the fuel. Here it is. Ooh, Daddy needs to turn his camera down. But yeah, uh, you look at that. Lithium battery, 0 0.5. Wood is 17.1. So even if your lithium battery here went from 0 0.5 even if it went up 10 times, you'd still have to go up another three times. So 30 times to get to 15, which still isn't up to the point of where wood is. Wood, wood for God's sake. And then you go down and it gets even worse. Here's diesel, here's gasoline. Gas and diesel are 45 point something. Lithium batteries are 0.5, so 10 times that is 5, and then what's 45? That's 9 times that, so gas and diesel have more than 90 times the energy density of a lithium battery. <laughs> of course, hydrogen is like, woo, but you've got to compress the crap out of it to do that. The point, the point is that these these things <laughs> how can you look at that and not know the point already do do i really have to even explain any of it to you like it just it's amazing to me you look at this stuff and <sighs> 
how are you going to make up a 90 times gap? Do you really think that battery technology is going to... Even in 10 years, do you think that lithium batteries or whatever are going to magically just start providing power on par with 90 times what they do? Because that's what it takes to compete with gasoline, to have the energy density of gasoline. That's why lithium batteries in cars have the entire profile of the car. They are literally as big on the horizontal plane as a car. Take a laptop battery and then make it, you know, the length and width of a car, not the not height, but, you know, just take, like, here, 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 just this. This is the incredibly shitty battery for a relatively newer MacBook Pro. I think it's like 2014, actually, so like 10 years old. But this is a MacBook Pro battery. Now take this, make it the size of a car. This thing's heavy as shit. Um, but that's what you're asking. You, you, you know, that's what you've got today. Now, take that, and, oh, 90 times more efficient? You can make that happen? You can make it beat gasoline? <laughs> At this point, lithium batteries are, what is it, uh, 30 times, no, more than 30 times less energy dense than friggin' wood. You would be better off burning wood in your car than having an electric vehicle. So whenever people make this argument that electric vehicles, oh, somehow they're magically just going to make up that gap. Like, that's just somehow magic. Oh, you got to believe in the magic of electric vehicles catching up. It's just I, I, battery technology will totally improve, bro. Are you saying battery technology won't improve, bro? Really? Oh, you, you're saying that's your only argument? Is it battery technology won't improve? Well, battery technology has to improve 90 times. So... You know, if you find some way to store 90 times more energy in the same amount of battery, <laughs> I, I, I'd love to see it. But there are literally billions of dollars trying to do that already, and it's not happened. You know, Tesla is not a new business. Um, in any of these electric car manufacturers, this is not new. Hybrids have been around for decades, multiple decades. The Prius is not exactly a new invention at this point. So you already have cars with these big batteries, and it's not like you don't have every automotive manufacturer on the planet trying to figure out a way to get more juice out of those batteries. Um, it doesn't even change the fact that the batteries are extremely expensive, and oh yeah, oh, we're going to have some sort of magic graphene battery? Okay, I'll believe it when I see it, because anybody can promise that things will get better, but until they do get better, they aren't better, and some people just buy this wishful thinking. You people are like the same. You're on par with people who believe in HHO. What's HHO? HHO is this bogus term that has to do with um, electrolyzing water so you get hydrogen gas and oxygen. And oh, it's the perfect fuel for a car. Except it takes an amazing amount of electricity and there's a lot of loss in the system to electrolyze the water into hydrogen and oxygen gases that you can then burn to get the energy back out of it. So th this notion that you can do that and somehow it magically creates more energy is completely false. There are losses in any given system. So what are you going to do? D t tell me. I want to know. I want to know. If you have a refutation for that... I want to know. Show me your sources. And it needs to be something that's either today or is definitely on the horizon that has already succeeded in a research context and they just need to figure out how to make it possible in a uh, regular context. But I have a hard time believing that battery technology will get 90 times more efficient. 90 times. This is not a doubling. This is not ten times as much. It's, it's not an order of magnitude. This is almost two orders of magnitude of improvement in capacity. And keep in mind, we've been developing battery technologies for over a hundred years in civilized society. This is not a new problem. This is a very old problem, and a lot of people have a ton of money, more money than God invested into solving it, and they still haven't gotten past 0.5 millijoules per kilogram. Show me your evidence 
or shut up. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that crap.